The Discovery of the Sand Castle Chapter 1 A Sunny Afternoon Captivated by the appeal of the shimmering sand and the rhythmic symphony of the ocean waves, Sophia went out for the seaside on a sunny afternoon with Sandy, her lively crab buddy. The sunshine peeked through the palm fronds that waved softly in the seaside breeze, and the air was filled with the energizing aroma of salt water. Driven by a spirit of adventure, the two walked the length of the beach, staring out to sea for clues to wonder. As they meandered along the shoreline, a glimmer caught Sandy's keen eyes. With a burst of enthusiasm, he scuttled towards the source, Sophia falling closely behind. What lay before them was a vast canvas of golden sand, and in the distance, the silhouette of a structure emerged, the sand castle. Its spires reached towards the heavens, casting playful shadows in the late afternoon sun. Intrigued and excited, Sophia and Sandy approached the castle the warm sand underfoot inviting them to explore further. The castle stood like a beacon of creativity, each grain of sand holding the promise of untold stories and shared adventures. Sandy, with his claws clicking in anticipation, signaled to Sophia that this discovery held the potential for something extraordinary. As they drew closer, the castle revealed intricate details, walls sculpted with care, turrets shaped with precision, and arches that seemed to invite them into a world of whimsy. The sound of the waves served as a melodic backdrop to their discovery, creating a harmony of nature and creativity. It was in this moment, under the sun's gentle caress, that Sophia and Sandy decided to embark on a collaborative endeavor, a journey of friendship and imagination that would unfold within the walls of the sand castle. Little did they know, this sunny afternoon would become the prologue to a tale filled with laughter, lessons, and the enduring magic of a friendship forged in the golden grains of the beach. Chapter 2 the Enchanted Foundation As Sophia and Sandy approached the sand castle, the anticipation of creative possibilities filled the air. Sandy, with his pincers poised, began to shape the foundation of their magical fortress. The soft grains of sand yielded to his skilled claws, transforming into an enchanted structure that seemed to materialize from the very essence of the beach. Sophia, inspired by the creativity of her crab companion, eagerly joined in. Together, they built towers that seemed to defy gravity, reaching for the azure sky. Sandy's claws expertly carved intricate patterns into the sand, accentuating the whimsical nature of their creation. As the castle took shape, it became not just a structure but a living testament to their shared imagination and camaraderie. The sun, now casting a warm, golden glow over the beach, bathed their creation in a soft radiance. Seashells and bits of seaweed adorned the towers, adding a touch of nature's artistry to their sand castle. The duo worked harmoniously, each grain of sand binding their friendship tighter. As the sand castle grew, so did their sense of accomplishment. Every tower and turret echoed with the laughter and joy they shared during the construction. Each stroke of Sandy's pincers and each careful touch of Sophia's hands told a story of creativity, collaboration, and the magic that blooms when friends embark on a shared adventure. As the last tower reached its pinnacle, Sophia and Sandy stepped back to admire their masterpiece. 
The sand castle stood as a beacon of creativity, a fusion of nature and imagination. The duo marveled at the enchanting fortress they had created together, understanding that, like the foundation of their sand castle, the strength of their friendship could withstand the tests of time and tide. The sand castle, now complete, held within its grains the essence of their shared journey. It stood tall against the canvas of the beach, a symbol of the magical bond forged between a curious explorer and her enthusiastic crab companion. Little did they know that the enchantment within the walls of their creation would unfold into a tale of resilience, joy, and the enduring spirit of their friendship. Chapter 3 Towers in the Sun Under the warm embrace of the afternoon sun, Sophia and Sandy continued their artistic collaboration adding intricate details to their sand castle. The golden sunlight cast long shadows, accentuating the contours of the towers and creating a mesmerizing interplay of light and shadow on the sandy canvas. With a keen eye for design, Sandy selected seashells of various shapes and sizes, adorning the towers with delicate patterns. Sophia, equally engrossed in their creative endeavor, collected bits of colorful seaweed that added a whimsical touch to the castle's architecture. Each tower became a unique masterpiece, telling a story of their shared experiences and the bond that had grown stronger with every stroke of creativity. As they sculpted and decorated, the beach around them seemed to come alive with the laughter of seagulls and the distant melody of waves crashing against the shore. Time became a distant concept as they reveled in the joy of artistic expression and the tangible result of their joint efforts. The sand castle transformed into a magical realm, a testament to their friendship and the adventures they had shared. Every tower seemed to echo with the memories of their exploration, the foundation solidifying the lessons learned during their journey. It was not just a castle, it was a reflection of the joy found in creating something beautiful together. Sandy and Sophia looked at their creation as the sun started to set, illuminating the sky with pink and orange tones. With its towers stretching up toward the dusk sky, the sand castle stood proudly. Tired but happy, the two marveled at the magic they had drawn from the sand grains, understanding that their creation was more than a material construction but a living representation of their unique relationship. With the day drawing to a close, Sophia and Sandy sat beside their creation, the warm sands beneath them serving as a reminder that the magic of friendship, much like the sands of time, could withstand the changing tides and endure as a testament to the beautiful moments sculpted by two kindred spirits. Chapter 4 Friendship's Resilience As the sun dipped below the horizon, Casting a warm, amber glow on the beach, a sudden gust of wind stirred the air. Sophia and Sandy, still basking in the satisfaction of their completed sand castle, felt the breeze playfully tousle their hair. The grains of sand shimmered in the twilight, and the gentle rustle of the nearby palm fronds added a soothing rhythm to the atmosphere. Suddenly, the wind strengthened, carrying with it the promise of a gentle storm. Sophia and Sandy watched as the grains of sand danced in the air, and their gazes turned toward the sand castle, standing tall against the approaching breeze. An unforeseen test of their creation's resilience unfolded before them. As the wind gained intensity, 
Sophia and Sandy exchanged a determined glance. The towers of their sand castle, adorned with seashells and seaweed, seemed to waver but stood steadfast. It was in this moment that the duo realized the true strength of their bond, much like the foundation of the sand castle. Their friendship was resilient and unyielding. The storm, though brief, brought with it a sense of uncertainty. Yet, as the last gust of wind subsided, the sand castle remained intact, its towers proudly defying the challenges thrown their way. Sophia and Sandy looked at each other with smiles that reflected a shared sense of accomplishment and the understanding that their friendship had weathered the storm. The sand castle, though marked by the traces of wind-blown grains, stood as a testament to the enduring magic of their connection. It was a symbol of their shared adventures, creativity, and the bond that could withstand even the unforeseen challenges of life. As they admired their creation under the fading daylight, Sophia and Sandy knew that their discovery of the sand castle wasn't just a one-time event, it was a reminder that their friendship, like the sands beneath them, would endure, resilient and timeless against the ebb and flow of life's tides. Let your dreams be touched by the Chronicles of Enchantment, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.